Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Yes, Lord, for he is worthy. Let me tell you guys something. Your lives will become a whole lot more peaceful when you make your lives just you and God. Your lives will become a whole lot more peaceful when you make your lives just you and God. Now, I am in no way, shape, or form saying to alienate yourself from human relationships. But what I am saying is that there is no peace apart from your Creator. I don't know who I'm talking to out there this morning. I think it's still morning. But um, there is no peace apart from Jesus. And you can search the world over and you can try to find a him, a her, a them, or a they. But nobody is going to satisfy you and satisfy your spirit, satisfy your mind, satisfy your body, satisfy your soul like God Almighty because he's who you came from. So whoever you come from is who can give you your comfort because that's who you derived from. That's who spirit gives you life, you understand? That's who truly and really loves you. Despite even who you have standing in your face today, because let me tell you something. I don't care who in this world says that they love you. Don't nobody. Jesus Christ love you. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I got to talk this thing out today. Don't nobody, Jesus Christ, love you. There's nobody on the face of this planet that would do for you what Jesus Christ has done for you. There's nobody that would go to the cross, endure the pain, and, and do everything that Father did to obtain the victory for you as it pertains to your salvation and your soul. There's nobody that's going to go to war for you even as it pertains to life on this planet that we are currently on. Like Jesus does. Nobody's going to go to war for you like that. Yes, many of you, you have mothers that love you. And of course, you know, your mother, I would think, would be the primary person to, to defend you and of course you know your mothers if they love you they're going to defend you you know the, uh, there's this thing you know your mom is going to defend you and be there for you if nobody else is but I'm talking about a love that runs deeper than even a mother because for many of you out, you out there your mother loves you but she don't hell love you okay I, I, come on now let's keep it real she might think she'll hell love you until she lay her eyes on hell and what hell is but I'm talking about a God that did what no other human being on earth could do because he was part man but he was part deity he was God he is God and that's the reason why no matter what any of us face in our lives today you have to rely on God and your walk has to be a walk of faith not of sight because as long as you walk by sight you won't believe not one word that comes out of God's mouth if you walk by sight you won't believe anything that God has to say because you because you know I'm hearing um, seeing is believing but seeing is not believing but that's the mentality that you will have well seeing is believing no it's not isn't there a saying I believe that says believe none of what you see and only half of what you hear or something like that or something like that you you have to walk by faith faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it is the evidence of things not seen. Faith is substance, faith is evidence. So if you want the substance of what you're believing God for, it is your faith. If you want evidence, which means proof of what you're believing God for, it is your faith. God is letting you know it is your faith that will give that thing to you. I will give that thing to you according to your faith, be it according to your faith. Meaning, Father is saying in so many words, do you believe that I am a liar? Woo, my God. Because, see, you can't um, say that you trust and believe in God, but insult him 
by way of your lack of faith. You can't say that you trust and believe in God, but then turn around and call him a liar due to your lack of faith. See, faith is you taking God at his word. Even when he says that, that no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And a lot of times when um, people think about weapons being formed, uh, you know, you think of a literal enemy in your face. But a weapon is anything that is formed against you to destroy you. Something that is formed against you for your destruction, even as it pertains to the things that people have to deal with in this world. Many of you may be um, either in the prison system right now or you have been in the prison system right now. That was a weapon formed against many of you, especially if you were innocent. That was a weapon formed against you, but it's not going to destroy you. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm in no way not saying there aren't people that don't belong in there. Of course, there are many people that belong in there. But I'm talking about the people that you were sent there um, unjustly, unfairly. You know, you may have did something that so-called, quote-unquote, uh, broke the rules of this matrix, but you didn't deserve the sentence that the judge and the jury gave you. You didn't deserve to be treated the way that you were treated. But God is even saying, even in the midst of that, that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. It's not going to prosper. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. There's this thing called karma. What goes around comes around. What you put out into the universe, it comes back to you. That's the reason why people need to be careful of what, the words that they speak against other people. Because whatever you say about your brother, it, can, it may return back to you. Whatever you say about your sister unfairly, it may return back to you. But when it returns back to that person, it returns back to them, I would think sevenfold. Nobody has to agree with me. But it's going to be a lot worse than what they spoke on that person. It's going to be a lot, a lot worse than what they spoke, what they wish for that person, rather. Are you understanding me? So basically, I feel like the message the Father's putting out there uh, today is that nobody gets away with anything. If you do good, you, you reap good. You understand? If you do bad, you reap bad. And your enemies don't get away with anything. And to God be the glory. You understand? See, just because you don't see it being made manifest right now doesn't mean that um, God hasn't taken care of the problem. He, has, he doesn't have to get ready to take care of the problem.